Hello and welcome. You're hanging out with Jen and Kelly today and we are going to be checking out some great places to eat in Hilton Head Island. We had the pleasure of spending three weeks here in South Carolina in Hilton Head. And there's so many beautiful beaches, flowers, walkways, shopping centers with every kind of store you can think of, lighthouses, and tons and tons of restaurants. Well, we usually stay in timeshare places, so we have our own kitchen. My husband's an awesome cook. But once in a while, we like to treat ourselves to a happy hour. So that's what this is going to be about. Basically, a great places to go for cheap. The first place we tried was Giuseppe's. It was really good. We had a pizza and a beer and a salad, a wedge salad. Um, it was a, a very good atmosphere. They had a, a range from, you know, dinners to sandwiches, grinders, all kinds of good stuff. We had beer, pizza, and a salad. And I believe it came to $40. We had enough pizza for the next day, too. So but it was good. I liked the bread, the cheese, and the sauce on it. Very good. See, $40. Good deal next morning we went to the Hilton Head French Bakery which is in the same shopping center as Giuseppe's was. Um, I'm always in the search for a good grape. <laughs> I almost said grape. <laughs> um, it, it, and they delivered. It was my uh, crepe was stuffed with like a ham and cheese and it had like a little garden salad on the side. My husband had some sort of like eggs benedict on a croissant. We liked it a lot. Had a really nice atmosphere. We got there super early like eight o'clock in the morning but by the time we left it was a little busier. In, in the same shopping center as well as Giuseppe's and the French Bakery, French Cafe, I believe it's called, is the world of beer. And they had a really, really good happy hour. Uh, I think all the appetizers were $5 and they had drink specials like $2 beers or something like that. And the food was really, really good. I think it was like from four to seven every day and I think on Mondays they had like five dollar burgers they had a lot of really good specials going on in that place we sat at the bar um, I had you know read that it, it's hard getting service there like I always check the reviews before I go somewhere but sitting at the bar was not a problem got served right away this is us driving to our next destination da, 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 da. Skull Creek Boathouse we went for brunch on Saturday, but there is no brunch on Saturday. Only Sunday. <laughs> so I didn't know what to get because I had my, you know, my sights set on breakfast and you know brunch food. So I ended up with the Bloody Mary anyhow. And then we went. I think I had a um, roast beef sandwich and a salad or a soup, something like that. A salad. There you go. There it is, right there. My husband tried the fried shrimp and the French fries. He liked it a lot. It had a very lively atmosphere. They had inside and outside dining, and it was like in a boat yard. A uh, very cool spot, you know, if you want to like kind of be in a really, you know, <laughs> good scenic place. Frankie Bones. <laughs> I heard this place was great for Italian. Um, back home, we have a place that we go to called Vincent's that we adore. So this place sounded like it would be like Vincent's, and it it sure was. It delivered. We loved it. We uh, we just like had such a fabulous meal, and we were there at happy hour and early bird at the same time. So we got really, a really good deal there. Um, the wines were $4. It was $3 for a small pour and four for a big pour. That That's pretty good. So we got a couple glasses of those. <laughs> and then I had a salad and chicken marsala. And my husband got this, they give you a nice loaf of bread with it. And it was really good. And the butter was nice and warm and soft. It was really good. He got, that's my chicken marsala loved it and um he got some sort of um filet with lobster and we both had uh mashed potatoes it was like 18 dollars each for the deep the meals it was really super good as you can see that what a pr good price the next day we hit poseidon that was another one that i heard is a must do for a great happy hour and you know a great location had a nice view of the water it's not ocean view it's like you know a, a water a water view but not ocean view we're not doing this if anybody's wondering in one day. <laughs> like I said earlier, we had three weeks. So we, like I said, we do a lot of cooking in the room and heating up leftovers. So we're not like driving around eating and drinking all day. That would be something. <laughs> but this place is really cool. Um, and they had, uh, the food was really good. It was, uh, I really enjoyed it. We ate upstairs. We were the only people up there. There was more people down on the lower half 
they had like a little outside area, but we wanted to check the upstairs out because that's such a happening place. I know normally in the in season, that was a margarita pizza right there. And uh, that was a chicken slider with uh, homemade potato chips. And that was a cheddar cheese soup, which was really, really good. It was like a beer cheese soup, but um, the food was really tasty and it was really reasonable. And there's the outside and that would be the view over there. Um, it, it, there was so many choices. Like I said, I, it was hard every morning. I'm like, where are we gonna go try today? <laughs> and this was just, like I said, it's just a cool place. And it's very centrally located to like, you know, a lot of the hotels, you know, we stayed in three different places. And that is us leaving, bye-bye. Possibly Holy Tequila might be my favorite, second favorite maybe. I'll show you my favorite place at the end. <laughs> All right, it's my second favorite place, but it was close. They had, uh, uh, this place is just magic. I mean, the attention to detail, the lighting, how it was decorated, the service, the food, the prices. I mean, the happy hour was like ridiculously cheap. Unfortunately, we you know we got up, uh, went for price wise, <laughs> the, the spicy margarita pitcher, which like, you know, was more than our meal. But I mean, as you can see, like the food prices for the happy hour was so reasonable. And let me tell you, this food was good. It wasn't too salty. It didn't make you feel terrible afterwards. It was just really high quality ingredients, really good food. And this drink, yeah, it was maybe $32 for this. <laughs> but we enjoyed it so much. We sat there for a few hours and really just enjoyed it. It was a good time. I would, um, this is, a, I can't even remember exactly what it was, but these were the appetizers. They were like two or three dollars a piece. You know, you get one thing. And I love that, you know, try a little of this, try a little of that. I had the street corn. I do remember that. And it was like a dollar a piece. I mean, it was so delicious. Like I love, I, I absolutely love Totally Tequila. If I go back to Hill and Head Island, this is definitely, definitely going to be going there. So it was $52. I mean, 35 of it was the drink, <laughs> but it was really good and it was a memorable experience. So that's what it's all about, right? So my husband Kelly said he wanted a good burger. So I was in a search for the best burger on the island and there was several different places, but I chose Charbar. I just liked the name. I thought it sounded cute. And they had chicken and waffles, which I was, I was kind of jonesing for. And uh, there's his best burger and he loved it. It was a, a black and blue burger I think he got, the blue cheese and the bacon. He said it was excellent. I didn't try it, but. And this is when I found out about the surge. Actually, uh, one of my YouTube friends, uh, from Destination Timeshare, you gotta check out his page. He has a lot of information about uh, Hilton Head Island and Marriott properties. He told me about this and I forgot about it. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, I remember this. This right here, all these places, you get like, one, you buy one, you get another one half off. And unfortunately, I had gone to so many of these places already, <laughs> but I did the happy hours. And I don't know if that really applied to the, any of those anyway, but that's a really good deal. But we did like our um, dinners. And part of the surge group is uh, <laughs> One Hot Mama. One Hot Mama, is that what it's called? One Hot Mama, yes. We went there for brunch and it was awesome. It was really fun, lively place. Um, the way they do the brunch there is there was maybe five things on the menu and you get to pick one of the five and then there's a choice of like maybe 10 things and you get to pick three of those so i mean it's a ton of food so there's our bloody marys again it's fun to get all the different bloody marys at all the different places and see how they decorate them and stuff they showcase them i ended up with some it was like a steak uh, burrito-y kind of wrap and it was really good and i had the hush puppies i mean all terrible things for me <laughs> um, uh, biscuits and gravy and my husband got chicken and biscuits and mac and cheese i mean it's like southern comfort food at its best i want pancakes i mean it was like just just really um <laughs> Oh, yeah, the cornbread. Jalapeno cornbread. I mean, like, all the best stuff in the world. That's the worst for you. But it, it was such good quality. We really enjoyed it. And we had leftovers for the next day, too. So that was, uh, it was a really good deal. And we accidentally ran into the Carolina Tasting Room. It's a winery and a shopping center at Calgary Park, which is in walking distance from our Resort is a beautiful shopping center with restaurants and stores and stuff. And this was like you go up and you taste, I think it was $3 for the wine tasting. In that same shopping center is the Frosty Frog Cafe. Um, I think 
they're known for the pizzas? I'm not sure. <laughs> and daiquiris, frozen daiquiris. But it was really cold this day. It was probably like 50. So I, I, I think we went for wine, I believe. No, nope, Guinness. There you go, Guinness. Uh, it's a cool place, uh, as you can see. Everything was, we sat outside anyway, and we got chicken wings, like a hot, hot wings, I think they were. And it came with waffle fries and a couple beers. And we sat outside, and it's a really, really cool atmosphere. When we were visiting Poseidon last week, <laughs> we saw this other place next to it called Tio's, and it looked like they had a really cool atmosphere and a, a good happy hour. So we checked it out, and uh, we really enjoyed it. We sat at the bar, and we had margaritas. And, geez, I don't even remember what we ate. I'm not even sure we ate here. I think we just had margaritas. Oh, you know, I think it was Taco Tuesday or something. I think it was $2 Tuesdays. See, here's the menu right here. I'm so glad I take these pictures. I would have totally $3 tacos. See, I, I, I take these videos for a reason. Down by the harbor, by the, the Disney Resort, is the Hilton Head Social. What a great bakery. That sandwich was good. And that was good, too. That was like a, a cheesecake thing. And I had a croissant ham and cheese sandwich. Excellent. Going back to Colgany Park Shopping Center, whatever it's called. <laughs> we went to Flatbread. Uh, it's a pizza place. They had dinners and, you know, sandwiches, grinders, all that stuff. Um, I think it was happy hour. We had, um, no, I think it was like a Wednesday, like half bottle. Yes, it was Wednesday. Half bottle wine. Sorry, trying to process and remember all this. Next time I'm going to write it all down. <laughs> so we got the margarita pizza, which was $10. All their pizzas were $10. And the wines were at that day on Wednesday, half off. They had specials every day. And they had actually specials on everything because it was winter. I think a lot of places must do that because the businesses, especially this year with COVID, I mean, it's probably worse than normal. And it's hard to believe three weeks is almost over. This is our last full day there. Um, we went to, to go to a breakfast place. So we tried skillets. Um, I got a crepe thing. It had like scrambled eggs and cheese in it. And my husband decided on more of a lunch thing. He went with a turkey club. And it was good. That is too is in Colgany Park Plaza, which we were in walking distance. We were staying at Grand Ocean Marriott at the time. And for our last evening dinner, oh, where do we go? Where do we go? <laughs> Frankie Bones. <laughs> We ended up going back to my husband's definitely favorite place and mine too. I really love the place. And funny thing is, we got the same exact thing. They sat us in the same exact seat. It was like a repeat of like what happened two weeks ago. But we absolutely enjoyed it. I hadn't consulted my Facebook group of the Hilton Head Marriott's and they gave me so many suggestions and we ended up going back to good old faithful. But with our discount from Surge, it was even cheaper than last time. It was ridiculous. It was like, wow. So um, all these places were fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this either enjoyable or useful or even to laugh at. <laughs> if you have any favorite places, please leave them in the comments. I would love to try it. I plan on going again next year, hopefully for three weeks. Oh, we loved it so much. I highly, highly recommend Hilton Head Island. It's awesome. Thank you very much and safe travels to you.